Hello and welcome to another video in sort of the series of how to set up a website from scratch. These are the uh, videos for Google Analytics and for ge generally just getting your website to run faster. So hopefully you've had a look at Monster Insights and uh, Yoast and now we're going to do um, Hummingbird. So I'm already in the dashboard for Hummingbird. Um, the first thing they always do is they ask you to run a performance test, but you can skip it, but why would you? So this is, this reflects a, a similar performance to uh, GT Metrics. Um, but Hummingbird helps you by um, fixing the problems within your website theoretically so let's see let's see we got that so we got 97 so actually there isn't really much to fix um, but um, where it says this kind of thing you can you can fix these to make it go um, to improve things a little bit more um, so what you have to do is just read the um, instructions and now I'm glad we got to this one first actually because this is something so it says configure asset optimization so let's activate that okay so it's looking for files don't worry it's not doing anything that can damage your website in any way um, Now what I'm going to show you here is, um, you see, look what this says. This is an advanced feature and can break themes easily. We recommend a file, we recommend modifying each file individually and checking your front end regularly for issues. So I'm going to show you what that means. So first of all, I'm going to pull this away so it's on its own. Okay, so it's activated. Okay, let's just take. Okay, well, take the tour. You can read it yourself slowly. Um, it's not that difficult. Now, so what it's looking for is files that have been, that are not compressed. All right. So look over here and we can see, actually, let me start at the top. This file is already compressed. This file is already compressed. This file is already compressed. Okay, the contact form seven. So what I want you to do is bring up your website. All right. And this is the tracking because Monster, Monster Insights knows I'm the administrator. We're the owners of the website, so it doesn't track us. Um, so Now, you see this has now got published changes. So, click publish changes. Okay, now don't worry about all this. Just go yes. Changes published. Thank you. Now, get back to your website and refresh it. If it still works. <laughs> Um, you can go on to the next one. Now, if something goes wrong, obviously the thing to do is just uncompress. Okay, just uncompress the file. So here, okay. Now this takes a bit of time, but I want you to do this slowly because you don't want to mess up your site. Okay, so look. I press F5, by the way, F5 should, auto. you can of course click this here, but I do, F5 is nice and quick, so look at this, so we're doing very well, and we'll go down, how many have we got to do? Um, okay, so let's, there's not too many to do, because it's a new site, thank goodness, click the publish changes, okay, and go back, F5, 
I happen to know that this early stuff you shouldn't have any problems with. Um, now that's the um, that's CSS. This is JavaScript. So you've got quite a lot of stuff going on here. Okay. So compressed, compressed, not compressed. So again, do the same thing. Remember, do every do each thing individually. Okay. And then refresh your website to make sure it works. Okay. Now I'm not going to do any more than that. That's all we need to do for this. Um, but what I will, what I do want to do is go to the, um, that BBC thing that's there is to show you something later. Um, so let's just, we can, obviously you should go through everything. We should go through everything here before you, but if you, let's run a retest, 98, 97, 1.2. So let's see if, I doubt there'll be much difference. Um, what, what is interesting is, will it actually be less? Uh, will we get worse results rather than better results? Um, which sometimes happens. You see? So we kind of, we kind of got, this has changed a little bit. Now don't worry too much about it, this is still fine. Um, but you do need to keep going through all of this um, to make sure it's fine. Um, there's a lot of it you can see. Now don't get impatient and do them all in one go. Um, all right. And then what was the other one? I can't remember. So let's go back to the dashboard. Um, and we had... Uh, diagnostics <coughs> um, and you got to read all this stuff okay actually we need to read that stuff and it'll say something like okay this is the same thing configure asset optimization so and notice just there it can be tough to get a perfect score because it really can that's why you don't that's why I don't worry too much if you can't get okay this is a slightly different layout but it doesn't matter it's the same thing um, so again you have to go through all of these to sort it out now when you start getting images and you can click on these as well to have a look you know again uh, you know you can play with things this is something that's quite advanced you want to be careful with this um, we've got settings, um, which I don't think you can do much with, if I remember rightly. I think there's some, a couple at the bottom. Yeah. Um, that's quite good. I mean, put the debug on that, That'll tell you if you're having any problems. Anyway, there's lots of stuff here. GZIP compression is for images, but we're already running that with one of our other plugins. Do you remember the first one we, the first uh, one, which was the ad expiry headers? I think the ad expires headers, I think we put GZIP compression in there. So look, all of this stuff, again, you've just got to take some time to look through it all. Now, do be careful with Hummingbird, though, because it does, it, you can break your site, especially with um, this asset optimization. Okay, so take this, very, take this very slowly and do this one by one. All right. Um, so, and I'll tell you one other thing. Sorry, I was just thinking... One other thing that might be worthwhile, which I've forgotten to say, and I think I'm going to add it now, is I'm going to, I'll put it in the book. Um, maybe have a backup, backup, um, uh, let's see, this one, okay, let's use this one. Um, So 
So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm installing a backup plugin. Now, if you when you're using Hummingbird, I would I would use the I would back up I would make a copy of your here we got a wizardy thing these are these are quite good as well if you're not sure what to do um, click these things okay you can upgrade for just one dollar for the first month that's pretty cool and you can read all this stuff okay blah 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 blah, blah. finish let's do it let's do a let's do a backup now let's see how it'll work okay let's see if it works hopefully it worked it shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds because we haven't got anything on this website so uh, let's have a look and there you go And that's your that's your backup now so there you are you've got your backup and then if you have a problem you can just download it and or you can just press restore and that'll restore this backup which you know works for something that you broke so yeah very useful very very useful to do have this one so i'm glad i showed you that i'll have to remember to put it in the book um okay so that's it well done we finished a bit longer, but that's okay. Important stuff, and I think you've now you can now play with hummingbird. Hummingbird, remember to do a backup and to be very careful. Like I said, remember asset optimization. Be very careful with quite a few of these things. All right, um, and I'll speak to you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.